in the last decade. <laughs> I'm going to repeat this. The population of Texas grew by more than the entire population of Connecticut. It's extraordinary. Grover Norquist, Americans for Tax Reform president, with me now. Look, that is a massive population shift, and it's speeded up recently. My question to you is, Grover, what are these high-tax states going to do? Well, they're going to continue to lose citizens until they begin to uh, begin their ta take their taxes down. In a co Colorado, uh, <laughs> which, is one of, which is one of those states that actually just recently voted on the ballot, the people of Colorado, to put a, to protect and keep a cap on spending, which will force dramatic um, uh, tax cuts every year into the future, because they can't spend any money that comes in above growth of population and inflation. They had that. The Democrats wanted to get rid of it. It was put back in. Colorado could stabilize. You worry about California, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, all loser states, states where more people leave than move in, in substantial numbers. Five percent plus of the population has been has yep. left those states. Uh, they're not turning around yet. They've, they've stopped a bunch of stupid that they'd talked about doing, higher taxes on higher income people. But in California, you saw they basically outlawed the gig economy. They outlawed independent contractors, uh, and which makes it very unfriendly to new and innovative uh, businesses. Okay, uh, next case. Uh, I asked White House economist Larry Kudlow about tax cut 2.0. Just listen to his response for a minute. Roll tape, please. You mentioned the earned income tax credit. That is something we are looking at. Uh, we're going to certainly keep the child uh, tax credits, uh, the kiddie tax credits and so forth. We might want to make some things permanent, Stu, that weren't permanent, both on the individual side and also on the corporate side. I'm thinking especially of expensing, you know, immediate expensing, which is a very powerful tonic for business investment. But, Grover, let's be clear, you only get those tax changes, those tax cuts, those tax improvements, mm -hmm. if President Trump is re-elected, and hopefully if he gets the, wins the House as well. That's the yeah. only way you get what Larry Summers is talking about. Well, absolutely. And, in fact, if we don't re-elect the president, hold the Senate, and uh, do well in the House, we're going to end up with taxes moving in the other direction. The Democrats have promised to, to abolish all of the Trump Republican tax cuts. That includes doubling the per child uh, tax credit. Uh, and for a median income family of four, it's a $2,000 tax bill. So the, I think it's very helpful for the White House to say this is part two of our tax reform agenda and lay it out. I think you'll see a lot of new expansion of IRAs, 401ks, uh, perhaps a look at lifetime savings accounts. Uh, and universal savings accounts, ideas that are around during the Bush years. Okay, we'd just love to see some more fiscal stimulus. Grover, thank you very much for being with us on a very special program. Glad we've been a part of it. Thanks, Grover Norquist.